Welcome back to Top 5 Auto Repairs. In today's topic, I'd like to talk about bad engines computer. So the purpose of an engine control module is basically to get various information from various input sensors and basically computers are going to use this information to control fuel mixture, ignition timing, and it's going to do a bunch of other calculation to make the engine running properly. Since the computer is responsible for fuel mixture and ignition timing, and let's just say your computer is failing or have already failed already, that's going to affect starting. So basically, let's just say you're trying to start your vehicle, and let's just say it takes a few cranks to get it up and running, and suddenly you got it up and running, and suddenly it stalls again, that could be a sign that your computer is failing. Also, let's just say you're trying to start your vehicle, and it just kept on cranking, cranking, crank, and won't start at all, that could be another sign that your computer have already failed. So one of the most common reasons why computers fail is going to be due to poor placement. I have seen a lot of engine control module or PCM located somewhere in the engine bay. So basically it's constantly exposed to high engine uh, temperatures. So when that happens, basically it's going to start to affect the, uh, the motherboard and the circuit board on, on, the, uh, on the computer and basically it'll cause soldering joint to start to break off and, and cause poor connection. So when this happens, you're going to get some sort of starting issue. And again, um, hard start and no start. Before condemning the computer, you wanna first thing you wanna check is the fuse and make sure they're not blown. If the fuse are not blown, then maybe later on you wanna conduct some further testing and I will give you that information a little bit later. The next common symptom of a failed engine control module or computer is gonna be check engine light and codes that you can't even erase. Let's just say you have a bad cooling temperature sensor code and you replace the cooling temperature sensor, you check all the wires, everything checked out good, and let's just say you still getting that code and you try to erase it, it just kept popping up, it kept coming back, there's a good chance that maybe the uh, engine control module for some reason can't get rid of that code and maybe it's time for a replacement. Another common symptom of a bad engine control module is going to be have multiple engine codes. For example, let's just say you have the mass airflow sensor code, you have the TPS code, you have oxygen sensor code, you have various codes and you notice that your engine kind of runs okay, not the greatest, but somehow you're getting all these codes that just kept popping up out of nowhere, there's a good chance that the computer can be failing. Usually when that happens, and let's just say you're getting multiple codes, I don't like to go and say, hey, the computer is bad. But what I like to do, I like to do a quick visual inspection. So basically you want to check the computer ground. So basically the computer ground is going to basically be a lot of bundles of wires they basically have the same color, for example, it may be all brown and it's all going to be going to one bolt or one connection. So you want to do it, you want to check that out. The most common problem is either going to be loose or build up a rust and corrosion on that bolt. So what you have to do is remove that bolt, use a wire brush, clean it off and make the connection better and maybe it'll fix your issue. The next common problem is going to be an electrical issue. Let's just say you have a wire that's broken off and suddenly it's touching together and it causes a short, this can also cause the computer to short out. Or let's just say you have a dead battery and you try to jump it and you got the polarity wrong, got it backward, that can also cause the uh, computer to short out as well. The next common problem is going to be poor engine performance. So basically the computer job is to basically do a bunch of calculation and it's going to need to receive information from various input sensors such as engine sensors, such as the uh, master full sensor, TPS and so on. So let's just say if the engine the engine control module is not working properly, it cannot do that proper calculation to do a proper fuel mixture. So basically what you're gonna have is poor engine performance and performance engine issues. On top of that, you may experience stalling while driving and may also experience extremely rough idle. One of the quickest ways to tell that you're gonna have a bad engine control module if your computer starts triggering some sort of U codes. So basically you have a U code, you have some sort of sort of uh, communication issue. So basically this would be caused by a failed computer, you could have an issue in the CAN bus somewhere, wire issue, connection, and so on. So one thing I noticed that caused that caused the computer to fail or the wire to fail is basically number one is gonna be engine heat, number two is gonna be corrosion, and number, th number three is gonna be some sort of water damage or that somehow got onto the engine or the wire itself. So basically what you wanna check is the wire harness going through the uh, through the firewall and make sure that it's not rubbing against something and cause the wire to come open and fail. The next way to quickly tell that the computer probably failed is let's just say you're not getting 
and he's sparking, you're not getting injection codes, but you see the filters, fuel injector is not working, coil is not giving off spark, there's a good chance that the engine control module has failed. Of course, before condemning that the computer is bad, simply because you don't have spark or injection codes, you wanna make sure that crankshaft sensor is working properly, camshaft sensor is working properly, you wanna make sure that the ignition coil is working properly, make sure you got good spark plug, good fuel injectors, and so on. On top of that, you also want to make sure your timing is good because if your timing is off, then the crankshaft sensor cannot work properly. And also that can cause a no injection pulse and also no spark as well. So one of the best ways to check if the computer is actually completely failed is I want to actually disconnect the uh, engine sensor and start checking voltage on it. Let's just say you're supposed to get either five volt reference or you're gonna get some sort of battery power. Let's just say if that is missing, then most likely that the engine Control module failed or you got some sort of wiring issue somewhere. Another possibility that can cause the engine control module to stop working is going to be sensor. Let's just say you got multiple short sensor that caused the uh, engine control module to start, stop working. So what I like to do is I like to start to uh, unplug each sensor and if your engine suddenly starts up out of nowhere there's a good chance that it's going to be one of those sensors that's causing the engine control module stop to temporarily stop working. So I think I covered everything or almost everything. I probably left maybe one or two information out. So if I left that out, I'm gonna go ahead and put that in the description. So thank you for watching. Subscribe to Top 5 Auto Repairs and give me a thumbs up.